might say that I'm a rolling stone With no place to rest my heart and bones But when you're laying here by my side There's no place I'd rather be with you tonight As I look into your loving eyes I see the stars up in this midnight Cyprus Garden Party, the Cyprus Summer Party, hashtag Cyprus Vibes. Um, okay, we can't bring you the Cypriot sun, but we are so happy that actually it's a very sunny day. Uh, we, we actually booked it for today. And, um, and we are bringing you many Cypriot things like halloumi, souvlaki, like lukmades, and like some Cypriot themed cocktails. So at the outset, we would like to thank the Foreign Press Association for partnering with us for this party. It seems that after hosting the annual Christmas party at our High Commission, you might as well host an annual summer party in our yes. garden. Yes. 
This event would not have been possible without the gracious contribution of our sponsors, so please allow me to thank them. I would like to extend a huge thank to the VFS Global, with whom... with whom a large number of embassies, including the Cyprus High Commission, collaborate for consular services. We really appreciate VFS's long-standing engagement with the diplomatic community. Moreover, the Consular Corps of London, who have provided invaluable support, we would like to thank the CCL and um, this, their sponsors for their presence and support for this evening, which also serves as a great networking event. I'm sure you would agree with me. We are the consular core, not the corpse. Okay. <laughs> the core, the core. <laughs> so with, that's why we are full of life. Thank you. I did, you know, <laughs> this was impromptu. Now I would like to thank the following companies. Uh, Chakali de Decker, Roland Brothers International, BMW Park Lane, Cypressa, you I'm, I hope you might have tried the halloumi or you're in the queue to do it, yeah, hopefully. IDS Diplomatic Sales, Venus, Geo Beer, Marathon Foods, Pisces London, Organic Cotton Clothing, plus our food vendors, many thanks to Baba Pita for the delicious Cypriot souvlaki, and to the taste of Cyprus patisserie in North London behind you for the amazing lukumades, that is the honey balls, the Cypriot balls. Cypriot balls. <laughs> and, uh, and a round of applause, please, for our music band, Marios Pavlou, the violin. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. And Ben Haynes, guitar and vocals. They're very shy. Last but not least, the great team of the Cyprus home, our gorgeous bartenders and the entire team there, my dear colleagues for all the effort they've put in making this event a great success. But also, it's not only a summer party. Can I have your attention, please? It's gonna take one second to introduce. <laughs> this is not only a summer party, it is also a farewell party for our dear High Commissioner Euripides, who is soon approaching retirement, and we have a specific hashtag for that. Euripidexit. <laughs> However, before handing the microphone over to His Excellency, I would like to invite the President of the FPA, Benedict Peviot, for her remarks. Well, first, congratulations on organizing the weather. I think you'll agree this is an incredible location, uh, and we're very lucky with the weather. Thank you so much for coming this evening. We need you can't hear me? Oh, okay. Right. Can you hear me now? So if you're all standing comfortably, I will begin again. <laughs> My name is Benedict Pavio. I'm half French, half British. Forgive me for that. <laughs> anyway, um, it is an honor and a privilege, and we have such an extraordinary partnership with the Cyprus High Commission and with this individual, who is an extraordinary person, who is generous beyond belief uh, to everybody, I think, not just diplomats, not just journalists. And we feel so welcome. We spend a lot of time actually just over there at the clubhouse. For those of you who don't know, the Foreign Press Association is the oldest correspondence association foreign correspondence in the world. It was founded in 1888, and uh, the reason being is that foreign journalists came uh, to cover Jack the Ripper, Jacques Le Ventreur in French. Anyway, um, I think we've moved on quite a bit, but one could say that Brexit's not exactly sometimes the easiest subjects to cover. Uh, but in these days of real threats to the press, it's really crucial uh, that we get support. We don't get 
uh, any money from the government at all. And we rely on the generosity, sometimes of strangers, but actually of friends. And so this is an inaugural party for us with uh, the Cyprus High Commission. And I very much hope that will become an annual gathering. Thank you so much for your generosity. It's been behind the scenes, it's been ideas. It, we've had our Christmas party at your High Commission and we feel so at home. So we're very sad to say goodbye to you, but in French we have a word au revoir, which means we will see you again. It's not adieu, we will never see you again. Um, but you are somebody who in some senses is very public, but you have a very private, shy side, I think, to you. And I think you're somebody who does care very much to do the very best of your ability. And God knows whether one is a diplomat, a journalist, or something else. Um, we're really all, I think, trying to make our way through this Brexit. So let us rejoice that there are good things, there are wonderful things to enjoy in this country. There are wonderful things to enjoy in life, and that is friendships and alliance, alliances, partnerships, and European partnerships, British, Cyprus, Anglo, every other nation. Could you do me a very big favor, please? You, whether you've come here on your own or you've come here in a professional or personal capacity, could you please make sure that you speak to at least two people that you have never met before? Because if you start a conversation with somebody, and preferably not from the same country as you. There we are, I'm going to be very ambitious. And that's really important because it is by us talking to each other and meeting new people, you've all, all the energy is just bubbling up there. So long live the Foreign Press Association. May this be the first of many summer parties. May Euripides come and see us again and again. Our door will always be open. Often we can be found at the clubhouse. We wish you all, on behalf of the FPA, so many good things. You are a very kind, generous, good man. Not just publicly, but in the same. So, can we all give him a huge round of applause? And on your behalf, I will say again a very big thank you to the Cyprus High Commission and all to the, to the sponsors here. And uh, please read newspapers, watch television, listen to the radio, engage with us. It is together that we will help create the future. Thank you very much for being here this evening. And on your behalf, I'm going to kiss this man. Best of luck. <laughs>
in the service of our beloved Cyprus all in a heartbeat. And I'm so happy to see so many faces happy, so many people are here happy. My colleagues and, my, and, and the team, the, the Cyprus family, as we, as we say, we, we don't really call the Cyprus High Commission a, a, a High Commission or a house, we call it a home. Because it is a home, there is a family spirit, because we are one for all and all for one, and it is fantastic, because all the success belongs to the Cyprus team, and I want to pay tribute to them, because they are actually rowing the boat. So I want to say a big thank you to them. They are responsible for any of the successes. I am the one responsible for any of the failures. So any failures, any omissions, everybody comes to me, including my vibrant, vibrant community. Christos Karaulis is here, he must be here. It's a community of close to 300,000 and it is a vibrant and we are very, very proud of it. I want to pay tribute, of course, to my wife, who is the unsung hero in all this, Nasia. Nasia, where are you? She is truly the unsung hero. She keeps me sane, but I keep her insane. So, but I want to thank her publicly because she has given a lot for the last 30 years. Uh, some, my colleagues are also so happy to see me that you know that they invented a hashtag which is Uribit Exit. And exit or no exit, it feels a little bit like Brexit because it's a cliff edge without a deal, no transitional period, and I am and remain a remainer. <laughs> so that's what's happening with a Uribit Exit. I want to thank each and every one of you who have enriched my life, who have enriched the life of the Cyprus High Commission, who have enriched my better half. I want to thank you for enriching us so much and making us better persons, because each one of you individually and all of you collectively mean a lot to us. You are part of our extended family, and we love you for it. We thank you. Uh, as Benedicta said, we can say, Abiendo which means see you again. It is really with mixed feelings because all of us have a journey. We travel a journey in our lives and the life of a diplomat is a peripatetic, it's a nomadic in many ways. And a, and a journey full of adventure, full of discovery. Give me another five minutes of your time and I will shut up and you have to enjoy yourself because in trying to reflect, in trying to reflect what to say about tonight, I had to dig up to go to 1911 and to find a poem which I want to share with you. Please. As you set out for Ithaca, hope your road is a long one, full of adventure, full of discovery. Lestrigonians, Cyclops, angry Poseidon, don't be afraid of them. You will never find things like that on your way, as long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long a rare excitement steers your spirit and your body. Lestrigonians, Cyclops, wild Poseidon, you won't encounter them unless you bring them along inside your soul unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope your journey is a long one. May there, may there be many summer mornings when, with what pleasure, what joy, you enter harbors you've seen for the first time. May you stop at Phoenician trading stations to buy fine things, mother of pearl, and coral, amber and ebony, sensual perfumes of every kind, as many sensual perfumes as you can. And may you visit many Egyptian cities to learn and go on learning from the scholars. Keep learning. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Arriving there is what you're destined for. 
but don't hurry the journey at all. Better it lasts for years. So you're old by the time you reach the island, wealthy with all you have gained the way, not expecting your country, not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the marvelous journey. Without her, you won't have set out. She has nothing left to give you now. And if you find her poor, Ithaca won't have fooled you. Wise as you will have become, so full of experience, so full of adventure, you will finally realize what Ithacas mean. This is Konstantin Kavafi in Alexandria, 1911. And this is the thing that really expresses me, but I think it expresses every single one of us in this place, in the individual journeys that, that we take. Aristotle said that poetry is even more important than history. Why? Because, because uh, uh, poetry is universal, where history deals with the specifics. Again, I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for, for this wonderful experience. The Minister of Bahamas, I want to thank you too, Minister, for coming and honoring us with your presence. You have a wonderful country, part of our, our hashtag, our Commonwealth family. And it's a great pleasure to have you, sir. You're honoring us with your presence. Again, I could go on and on and on. I know that a short speech moves the hearts and a long speech moves chairs. You're, you're standing, so there are no chairs to be moved. But I thank you. I love you. Let's make our world a better world. Yes, we can. Tolerance, understanding, and based on one golden rule, do unto others as you would have others do unto you, as simple as that. And it transcends all religions, all philosophies, whether you are a Muslim, salam, salam alaikum, whether you are a Christian, you are a Buddhist. It all does that. Zaina Badawi, thank you too. Wonderful interviews, like to have you. All my colleagues, my colleague from Kenya, everybody. Namaste, my colleague, my colleague from India and many others. Thank you, God bless you. Please enjoy, and we're not finished until midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock. I'm gonna say hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip. Yeah. Thank you. You see, I get another kiss. <laughs> That was part of a thing to get another kid. The life would still go on, believe me. The world could show nothing to me. So what good would living do me? God only knows what I'd be without you. God only knows what I'd be without you. Thank you.